Yeah, I think jumping into that then. So is that explaining why that you've went with a hybrid model rather than the electric vertical takeoff and landing? Yeah, great question. So we thought the uh, we thought hybrid uh, power systems, so much like a Prius uh, or uh, and a lot of modern vehicles are hybrid these days, had a lot of advantages in the aerospace world, especially advanced air mobility. So we love the fact that after takeoff, where we use the electric power to you know you know to lift the aircraft off the ground and move forward, uh, you know the aircraft could recharge itself and be ready for landing phase, right? So you wouldn't approach the landing phase with you know 20, 35 or 40 percent in decreasing energy levels. You'd be able to approach the landing phase uh, at destination with almost full battery power. After it landed, the aircraft can the aircraft will be able to recharge itself. You don't have to find a you know a generator station or you have to land a diverter port. So it's sort of independent of all of the charging infrastructure that may or may not be in place, at least in the short to medium term. Um, and we liked a lot of the uh, safety aspect of it. So still carrying a fuel source on board that's you know thirty to forty times as energy dense as uh, even the best batteries. Even though we love you know again we love that all electric uh, space. There's a lot of good work that's going to be done soon, um, but allows us to go a little further. Uh, well, maybe a lot further. So instead of going fifty to hundred miles, we're going three hundred to five hundred miles, and we're traveling at speeds that are a lot quicker and carrying instead of thousands of pounds of batteries on board initially and hundreds of pounds of stuff, we're carrying hundreds of pounds of batteries on board and thousands of pounds of useful stuff um, over those distances. So um, yeah, a lot of different so guess, operational advantages. 